game and I'm still the same And I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin' I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing Yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazion here, and as you can see in front of you today, we've got 95 overall Diamond Moments Paul George. This is the second version of his moments. There's now two Diamond Moments Paul George. And when we take a look at these stats, I'm going to tell you what went up and what went down from the previous Paul George to this Paul George. And we're going to find out if this Paul George is actually the better move. So let's go ahead and let's dive into these stats. Uh, as you guys can see, he's got a 98 offensive overall, 95 defensive overall, 6'9", 220 pounds. That is looking sick. You can see I've already got the shoe and contract on him because I know I'm going to be keeping this card by seeing these stats, guys. Uh, he's got a driving lane of a 95 his post fadeaway went down by a little before his post fadeaway used to be an 80 i believe gone up to an 85 now it's only a 74 going up to a 79 with the shoe uh he's got a draw foul of a 92 which is really nice mid-range down the line has been boosted a ton to now 97 down the line no worry about that mid-range anymore his three-pointer also went up by three points uh 89 down the line with the shoe ours has a 94 his free throw went down by one point from an 80 to a 79 the dunking stats also went down the driving and contact dunk went down for by quite a bit but hey that doesn't change the fact that he's still got the tendencies so you know i'm going to be catching a body this game but uh yeah his ball control and passing i believe has stayed the same his defense has gone up his shot contest is a 92 his steal is now a 99 i believe it got boosted up to either a 95 or a 97 i think it's a 97 actually so that is almost a 32 point jump from his previous one which was a 65 uh his rebounding as you can see went down a bit before it used to be in the 80s and 90s now it's in the 70s i honestly have no problem with that i still think that's fine speed hasn't really changed vertical hasn't changed strength hasn't changed stamina hasn't changed hustle hasn't changed lateral quickness is also the same but one thing that's boosted up by 37 is the pass perception all the flaws in the previous card have basically been fixed in this card and that's what i love look at his defense man this card is basically going to be scotty pippen but with better defense i'm looking forward to using this card a lot uh when we go ahead and hop onto the badges this is going to be kind of inaccurate because he comes with 17 badges, but I've already slapped four onto him. So I'm going to quickly check which ones I've added onto him. And the badges that were added to him were Brick Wall, Dimer, Ankle Breaker, and Pick and Popper. These were badges he already came with when I bought him, so I'm not really sure what else to add on to him. But these are the other badges. I'm just going to quickly go up and down on this card just so you guys can see what he already comes with. He comes with stuff like Limitless and all that. But I'm very curious to see if this Paul George is going to be better than the other one. I personally think he is. He's got boosted defense, a boosted three. The only thing that really went down that matters is maybe the driving dunk. So it would also be interesting to see what takeovers he has because previously, he had the slasher and the defender and now he i'm thinking he's probably gonna have like shot creator and the shooter especially because of the three-point shoe i gave him he's probably gonna have sharpshooter and shot creator is my guess but uh yeah guys enough talk for me you guys want to see this paul george in action so without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what diamond paul george has in store for us let's get it boys all right, and our matchup for today is looking like Kyrie Irving, Ray Allen, Scottie Pippen, of course, Draymond Green, and Marcus Gasol. Paul George, you're going to have to be hoopy if we're going to score against Scottie here, man. Let's get this dub. Uh, let's get these clamps going. You can go left to right all you want. That's not going to work. Nice rebound there by my boy Nate. Going straight to my boy Paul George. Going to the rim. Oh, nice dunk. I thought Marcus Gasol was in the way, but I guess not. All right, so far there's no scoring going on, and I don't like it. So we're going to go Clay. Clay, behind the back. We're driving through. I see Paul George slash through. Go left a bit. Oh, I'm open. I'm pulling that in your face. Bang! Magic with a rebound. We're going to Clay. Clay, Paul George in the corner. Oh, that's a midi, but I guess I'll take those. It's going down. All right, Paul George. Let's get some threes going for you here. He's over committing there with Kyrie. We're going this way. Get open, Paul. Get open. I see you. We're pulling it, and boom goes the dynamite. Nice rebound there by Balake. Balake to Clay. I see a trailing Paul George. So does Scotty. So he's jumping. I'm going to the rim. Ooh, we draw a foul and one. Yo, Paul George is hooping right now. Convert that free throw for me, baby. A. As you guys can see, Paul George's takeover is sharpshooter and shot creator. So all we gotta do is get open, huck it, and bang, baby. You guys already know where I'm going. If my boy Paul George is on fire, we just gotta feed him. He's cooking. Oh, that's a mid-range. I mean, I guess I'll take that. But next time, step out at the three, man. I'm honestly surprised this guy hasn't left the match. Let's just go to Magic. Magic straight to Paul George. Catch and shoot. I love those inbounds, baby. Let's go. All right, where are we going here? Ooh, I see Magic. This guy's playing terrible defense. I see Paul. Pump fake. Got him. Uh, let's go back out to Magic. Splash through this way. I see Blake open. Oh, I was in Blake. That's Clay. Clay Day. I'm so sorry. Let me feed you. Bang. 
Dang! Alright, so as you guys can see, we're off to a pretty good start. He's setting some kind of fake double team, but we go and bind the back. We go with those pick and fades. Oh, he's not biting on it. Let's go here. Jab, spin, got him. Spinning away, and go to the rim. Hey! Alright, uh, magic, magic to Paul George. Pump fake, got him, slashing through. Yo, that slash is crazy! Oh! Rest in peace, Luol. He's out of there for that one. Your opponent has left the match. Oh, he got dunked on and he said enough was enough. But this is not enough for Paul George. You guys know one game isn't enough. So let's go ahead and let's hop into another one. And matchup number two is looking like Magic, Michael Jordan, Kevin Durant, Mark Gasol, and Dwight Howard. So you got some pretty big people in there. Kevin Durant isn't the greatest defender compared to Scotty. So let's go out there and let's get hoopy, boys. Oh, so you've decided to be an off-baller. I like this. Give me the threes then, baby. Catch and shoot. Give it to me. Bang. All right, Paul George. Let's get some more threes going for you here. Right now, Magic is clapping my shit real good. But he's open there now. Open for three. Not a green. But it's a bucket. I'm not greening any shots with Paul George today. It's kind of annoying me. Good defense. Clamps. Clamps. Where? No, Jordan. Don't do that here, baby. Nice rebound. You know who I'm going to. Magic. Magic to who? My dimer. Catch and shoot. Green. See, the thing I love about off-ballers is I will rain a barrage of threes on your ass. Catch and shoot in your face. Bang! Oh, what's wrong, Jordan? What's wrong, Jordan? You're not a good pink diamond. Well, I know who's a diamond. And even better, Nate the Great. Go to the rim. Dunk on him. Ooh, we drawn the foul instead with him. And we're going to shoot some free throws. I wanted to pass to my boy Paul George, but Kevin Durant actually looked like he was holding him down the whole time in transition. No worries, though. This Nate's still a god. Give me that other free throw, baby. Green bean. Uh, let's go to Magic. Magic to Paul George. The rookie difficulty range. Give it to me. Boy. Nice rebound there. You know who we going to. Magic to Paul George. Oh, transition threes. Give me that range. Bang. Uh, Magic. Magic to the clay. Clay. We're going here. We're spinning. We're pump faking. You leave Paul George open. Give me that three then. Green bean. Come here. Yo, LeBron. You cannot zigzag me and blow by me. You, you just can't. You just can't. You just can't. It doesn't work like that. Come here. Try to blow by me. You can try to run all that pick and roll. It's not working here. It's not working here. It's not working here. Look who's here. Look who's here. HTB's here. Give me that ball, boy. Quick pick and roll. Quick pick and roll for the culture. We're going around the screen. And an alley-oop for you, baby. Hey. Uh, where are we going? Oh, my God. Paul George in transition again. Guard me, baby. Green bean. <laughs> Nice rebound there. Why are you missing free throws? Because when you miss free throws, I get more threes. Catch and shoot. Green bean again. Yo, Paul George is so nice. I was talking about earlier how I wasn't greening anything. Now I'm greening everything. Come here. Clamp. You can run it. Dude, you got to stop with the pick and rolls. The Dude, the pick and rolls ain't going to work. The pick and rolls won't work. The pick and rolls won't work. The pick and rolls won't work. I'll take that rebound, though. Thank you. And you know who it's going to? Well, not magic. To my boy, Paul George. Catch and shoot. Oh, he's moving. It don't matter. It just don't. Paul George still got some takeover. Let's feed it to him. Oh, he's off on. I'm going to keep running here. I'm open. And I'm pulling it. What is you doing? Bang. Let's get Paul George posting up now. I know he's got a little bit of takeover left, but look at the physical defense Mullen is playing. Let's just give it to him in the post and get a nice little fadeaway here. Going here. Got him. I'm fading. Give it to me. Hey, see, the shoe does do wonders. Just like that, your opponent has left the match once again. Nobody can handle this Paul George. I might just have to go into one more game for you guys. All right, so guys, unfortunately, due to the time I have, there won't be any more gameplay for you guys. We're only going to be able to get those two gameplays in today. I've got a busy day. Got a lot of packing and stuff to do. I'm going to be going to Cuba in the next couple days for a week, so I won't be uploading. So I kind of want to try to get some uploads ahead for you guys, just so my channel's not completely quiet. But uh, yeah, guys, this Diamond Paul George, he's an absolute hooper. I know the biggest question on everyone's mind is, is this Paul George worth the upgrade from the other Paul George? And it really comes down to the play style. But even with the play style, I think overall, this Paul George is just better. Now, the other Paul George, like we talked about in the beginning of the video, has better rebounding, has a better fadeaway, and better dunking, but that's about it. Most people that are playing 2K don't have that kind of meta, and the rebounding really doesn't matter when you play him at the small forward. The reason for that is look at his uh, rebounding stats. They're decent already, and he already comes with gold hustle rebounder. And I feel like having a 97 steal and a 97 pass perception is worldly better than having a little bit of rebounding. If you can defend, then there's no rebound to get in the first place. And then 
another thing is the shooting the mid-range is definitely noticeable that 97 down the line super noticeable in comparison to his 88 the three-pointer you don't notice too much but again i have a shoe and in my previous paul george i also had a shoe so really he had a 91 three before for me and now he has a 94 which isn't a huge jump but again paul george has a super easy release so that's something you won't really notice one thing i definitely did notice though was the fadeaway the fadeaway went down sometimes but it didn't feel as easy as it did with the previous paul george where he had the 85 post fadeaway with the shoe but overall man this paul george is just better the only thing you will really notice for between this paul george and the other paul george that might make the other paul george better is going to be the driving dunk i will tell you guys that this paul george does not posterize as much as the other one but if that's really the only case all you gotta do is wait for takeover and boom it goes crazy but again it also comes down to which kind of takeovers you want the other one has a slashing defending takeover whereas to this one has a sharpshooter shot creator takeover so depending on your play style again will depend on what you do with your paul george but shoes can also affect the takeovers and the same thing goes for the coaches as well so it comes down to you guys but this paul george is a hooper as you can see i already have the diamond contract on shoe on him so i plan on keeping this card for a while i always love paul george cards and i don't think we're getting a pink diamond for a while unless he goes off for like 55 or 60 points and he has been hooping this year so you never know but until then i'm holding on to this paul george i love this card and i recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up so if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the Blazing Nation. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and take care.